All right guys, Chris here from Rackman Go, and today we're gonna to be talking about connecting our Max Fan Deluxe to our EcoFlow Independence 5 kilowatt hour power kit. Let's get started. All right guys, before we get started, I wanna take a few moments to talk about the Max Fan Deluxe from Eric Cell. So this fan here, we've got an automatic mode for temperature control, so I've got the remote right here. You can see here, we've got you know our temperature at the top, we've got our vent lid closed, the fan is off, but you can easily power this on. Open up the top, we got 50% fan speed. You can set fan speeds, you can set the temperature at which you want this thing to automatically open and close at. Um, and so given that this is so remotely controlled, what we're gonna be doing for the install today is actually wiring it into a circuit on the ACDC distribution panel that is not remotely controlled through the app. That's because we have the remote control here that we can control everything with. So this is gonna be powered essentially all the time. And one of the reasons for that is if you set the temperature for your max fan using the remote, and then you were to turn the power off from the power hub, this would forget what the temperature is and it would reset once you power it back up. So we're gonna be powering this to a circuit that is going to be live all the time. That way when you set your temperature on your remote and in the unit, it stays even though you turn the unit off from this remote. So let's get into it. All right guys, let's start by moving over to the AC-DC distribution panel. So we're gonna pull the top cover off. I've already taken the screws out of this spot here. So this is just a nice cover here to cover up all the wires coming in and out. We've got labels here for our AC circuits, and we've got labels here for our DC circuits. And you'll see on this panel, DC out remote control. And that applies to the first six circuits. So these are gonna be remote controllable through either the console or the app. So you can turn the circuits on and off. Circuits seven through 12, these are just going to be on all the time. And so that's actually what we're gonna be wiring in this max fan to is to a circuit that's gonna be on all the time. So that way, when we set the temperature on a remote control for it to automatically open and close, it will remember the temperature that we set. If we set it to a remote output and we accidentally turn that remote output off, it's gonna reset the memory on the max fan unit and it won't remember the temperature that we had pre-programmed, so. So we're gonna go into circuit seven, which is the first circuit that is not remote controllable. And one of the first things we notice is the fuse for circuit seven is set for 20 amps. And that's way too high for this max fan. We need a more appropriate fuse for it. So we're gonna be pulling out the 20 amp and popping in a 10 amp. And it does come with a nice little fuse puller here. So we find number seven, we pull that out. Fuse puller makes it pretty handy for pulling out something that's between two fuses since you can't really get your fingers in there, so. All right, so we've got our 10 amp fuse in there. All right, so we've got our 10 amp fuse in here. We've got the wires for the max fan pulled through. So we've got our positive and this is properly marked. So that's gonna come up into circuit seven. We'll clamp that down, give a little tug, make sure it's secure. And then we've got our negative wire we're gonna come into this last location here, clamp that up, and there we are. All right, we're wired into circuit seven on here, so now we're gonna go into our console. We may not be able to turn this circuit on and off, but we can still set the image for it, and we can actually rename it. And I think we'll go with, let's see, Max Fan. Check that, Let's save that. All right, so we've got the max fan on. It is at 100%. We're currently drawing approximately 35 watts. You can see the max fan down here, 35 watts, about 2.6 amps. Let's see the effect. We'll take it from 100%. Down to 70%. We've nearly cut our power consumption down to a third. Take it down to 
Yeah, we're only pulling about nine watts. So you can see the dramatic effect of our fan speed and how much power it's drawing. Honestly, 35 watts isn't a whole lot, but for each 10% you go up, you're gonna draw proportionally more energy up to 35 watts at 100%. So just something to keep in mind. And it's kind of nice that you're actually able to see all of this output for what your fan is drawing right on the console screen. All right, guys, so we just wrapped up installing our max fan or wiring in our max fan to the EcoFlow power kit. If you have any questions about this max fan or the EcoFlow power kit, you can contact us at customercare at rackupgo.com. And remember, life's an adventure. Rack up and go.